YouTube exam practice number 17 called Memory. This one is a little bit different. I've written a passage at 80 words a minute. 320 words, 160, 30 second break, 160 words. Then I have extracted 40 words from each half and made that a passage at 60 words a minute. But I haven't just taken out 40 words. I've changed the sentences very slightly. Not every one, but some of them slightly. So my recommendation, if you are finding 60s okay, but you're not getting 80s, my strong recommendation is that you practice the words and you practice the groupings really well, first of all. Then you take down the 60 words a minute, repeating it until you find it really easy. And you will find it easy if you practice it often enough. Spend enough time on the words and the groups and then have a few goes at taking down the dictation at 60. Once you've done that and mastered that, have a little break, come back and have a go at the 80. And you may be surprised at how easy you find that 80. Now, some people have said to me in the past, isn't this a form of cheating because it's like having a preview of it? It isn't at all, because writing at 80 is writing at 80. Yes, you are more familiar with the content because you've already practiced 120 of the 160 words that are going to be in each half. But that, that familiarity comes with time and with practice until you get to 120 words a minute. People who are writing at 120 don't have to stop to think about every aspect of the theory or every word grouping because they've been doing shorthand and practicing shorthand for so long that they do not have to think it is automatic pilot. So that's what this is. So give this a try and if you like this style, click a like and then I'll be able to do these things more often for you. So first of all, let's go through the words. So let's start. They're in alphabetical order apart from the word memories because that's the title of it. So a single length M and a double length M to add R and the S inside the curve, so in a clockwise motion. Now, starting with activities, so with the A. So we write AC, and then we disjoin the TV, which says tivity. Adding an S makes tivities, so activities. Next one, afraid. Starts with the A indicator. Remember, we don't put babies on the floor, so start halfway and then loop down to the line to make the FR blend. And you will know by now that we don't join T's and D's to an upward R, so the D goes halfway down the R. Next one, camera, CM blend, so nice and wide like a rugby ball. Insert the E indicator. That's a recommendation only. You don't have to do that so that you can clearly see the R and then the final A indicator. Next word, chant. Remember, words that end in vowel N, C, E are written with the disjoined C. So we could write bounce, mince, chance, dance, fence and so on, all with the disjoined C. Next word, confidence, CN blend, F, D, and again that disjoint C for uns. Create, CR comes together without an intervening vowel. So we write the T inside that C, and that tells us that the CR is there. We don't need to write the R. Destin, start on the line with the D. The S can go on the upper or the lower side. The T is blended in with the N, so you don't have to raise the N, and then the D joined on. When we come to write the word enjoy, although it's a J in the spelling, the J joined on to the N 
is one sweeping line. So some people prefer to write the G instead of the J for that reason, to give more clarity to the outline. That is a personal choice. Next, we come to enough. Straight down with the E indicator and the GH says F. Two special outlines next, experience and language. Now, although experience ends with the sound of uns, because it's a special outline, we're joining it on. Special outlines don't have any rhyme or reason. We just learn them in a parrot fashion way. Next word, forget. FR blend, GT. Hold and holidays. Remember the L goes upwards after an H and the D is disjoined. So those two words could say hold and holds. But of course, the sense of the sentence will tell us that the second one is holidays. So I've no, now written however as a special outline, important as a special outline, and in error, I've written experience yet again. But never mind, it's better than missing it out. The more practice, the better. Journey next, J or N. The R is blended in with the N and the Y says I, so at a nice sharp angle. If you came down with it, it would look like an extension of the N, so up for a sharp angle. Two more special outlines, K for knowledge, that also says kind of course. And then remember, adding a D becomes remembered. Next one, learning. L doubles for R, N and the disjoined I for ing is written in a downwards direction. Often, we don't say often, we say often, so the T is silent. So I would go with that F down on the right hand side, up on the left hand side and sweep it over with the N. Practice it to get some speed on it. It's a beautiful outline to write with speed. Practice. Now, of course, we've got the verb to practice something with the S and we've got the noun, which has got the C. So in this case, the outline has got the S on the end, so it's the verb. Process. Now, we've got PR blend together again here. But if we use the disjoined C, because the PR's together, it could also look like unts again, vowel NCE. Although pences wouldn't make a word really, would it? So when it's awkward, or if you feel it's awkward, we can write the, put the R in. So I've written both ways here, process with the PR blend and process with the R in. That little circle in the middle of the two outlines says or. Regularly, we've just written reggae, R-G-I. Someone, some people write some and then a one with a circle round, but it takes so much longer than writing S-M and then the W-N for someone. And you can continue that with anyone, no one, etc. When we write spoke, it's a bit awkward to join the K on the bottom. So a P followed by a K, we usually put the K joined onto the side of it. Again, for clarity of outlines. Through, GH is silent, so the O becomes the final vowel. And then word, pictorial representation, we can either draw a big circle which is like the globe, the world, or we can do the full way, which is the WR blend, the L and the D. So your choice. Now the word groupings in alphabetical order. There's some really good ones here, some of which we haven't had before. So we're starting with all over again. Now all over whatever may follow, is written with the A over the top of what comes next. So here we've got an A over the top of again, and it gives us the phrase all over again. If we were writing all over the place, we would write an A and we'd write the word place underneath it. If we were writing all over the floor, we'd write the A and the FL blend, doubled for our floor, and so on. Next one, we've got another thing. We're just using the ing for thing, another ing. Does not only. Three small words, but nevertheless, 
they join together very well, but do practice it first so that you don't have to hesitate in the middle of it. 4x for four example. Next one, and I love this phrase, from time to time. Now, some people write it with the F for from, which is a special outline, of course, and then TTT for time to time. And some people write the F for from and then the M for time, followed by the M for time. Now, if you think about it, the second one is probably marginally faster because you don't have to lift the pen. So that would be my preferred one. Next one, if we think. So we're writing if we ink. In der, with a long D, double for R, says in order. And that's usually followed by the word to. Sometimes it's followed by the word that. But if it's followed by the word to, we don't need to write the to, just in der. If it were followed by the word that, we would write the H joined on to the uh, DR blend with the T through it in order that. So, what when we want to write in order to be able to? The DR of order can also do the work of the T of 2. So, we just put the big circle for B and the able to disjoined. Beautiful phrase. Next one, it is important. So S goes underneath so that it can go inside the curve of the M. And of course, important, we know is a special outline. We've drilled it. It will not have the. Again, five words all joined together far faster than writing two or three different outlines. Now, we're very familiar with the phrase many people now, but if we join a K to the end of the PL blend for people, it can say many people look and it can also say many people like. And again, believe me, the sense of the sentence will tell you which one it is. Next one, may be a. Make sure that circle's big enough to be a B and put it inside the curve of the M and then join the little A on instead of doing it separately. Part of our T is disjoined after the upward R, remember? Little O for of and a long W for the hour. Period of time. You don't need the of. You can join it onto the D if you wish, but period time should be sufficient. And then some people and many people. We know those well by now. That we would like. Remember, chop that wood. And then kick the L out of like. To ink for to think. My eye indicator is a little bit long there, so you can shorten that slightly. We have a... It's not groundbreaking, is it? But it's really valuable if, if you're getting behind of the speaker by a few words to join those three common words together. And then if it was followed by great deal, you can carry on joining. We have a great and the T of great is also the D of deal. And then let's go on further to do. We have a great deal pleasure for we have a great deal of pleasure. If, of course, you don't like these and you find that they're too complicated, you can do them as two or three separate outlines. But if you practice them, I'm sure you'll get to grips with them. Next one, who we are. So now we're ready for the dictation. As I said before, I would start with the 60 and then I would go on to do the 80. 60 words per minute called memory part one. Ready? Memories are a very important part of our lives and they make us who we are. They are our view of the world in a way that we do not even stop to think about. Memory 
does not only hold important knowledge about our lives, but can take us back to our past. This may be a place that we enjoy visiting, or it may be a journey that we would like to forget. Memories are destined to fade, but if we think about a good memory often enough, we keep it fresh. Some people go on holidays hoping to create good memories. But many people take a lot of photos, afraid that even those memories may one day fade. Second half, ready? Memory is vital to all learning. It is the record left by a learning experience. People learn in different ways. If we learn a skill, it is important that we practice that skill often in order to be able to remember how to do it. If we do not do this, then after a period of time, we may need to start the learning process all over again. However, some people say we never forget how to ride a bike. That could be said about many activities. For example, swimming. Most of us would like to be remembered for all the good we do in our lives. We would like our family to remember good times and happy times together. Eighty words a minute. Ready? Memories are an important part of our lives and they make us who we are. They create our view of the world in a way 
that we do not even stop to think about. Memory does not only hold important knowledge about our lives, but takes us back to our past. This may be a journey that we enjoy, or it may be a journey that we would like to forget. Memories are destined to fade, but if we think about a good memory often enough, it will not have the chance to fade. Some people go on holidays hoping to create the best type of memories. But many people look at every view through the lens of a camera, afraid that even those lovely images will one day fade. When talking to someone about something from our past that made us happy, we have a great deal of pleasure recalling it. It makes us feel happy all over again. Second half, ready? Memory is vital to learning. It is the record left by a learning experience. If we learn a skill, it is important that we practice that skill often in order to be able to remember how to do it. If we do not do this, then after a period of time, we may need to start the learning process all over again. However, some people say we never forget how to ride a bike. That could be said about many activities, for example, swimming. But we will only retain our confidence if we practice regularly, instead of just from time to time. Language is another thing that we need to practice every day. If we only spoke to a two-year-old once a week, the child would not develop his or her language very quickly. Most of us would like to be remembered for all the good we do in our lives. That way, our memory lives on forever. 